है व्हाट्सअप गाइज वेलकम बैक सो ऑल नॉट टू यू जस्ट स्टिल वेटिंग फॉर द फोर क्लीन एज ओ एस नाइनटीन वीडियो एज आई ऑलरेडी पोस्ट एट द कम्युनिटी पोस्ट रिगार्डिंग दैट बट बिकॉज ऑफ सम इशूज आई डिडेंट रिलीज दैट वीडियो बट टूडे आई विल शो यू हाउ टू इंस्टॉल द रॉम एंड क्विक रिव्यू सो वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द फोर क्लीन एज ओ एस एंड द नॉर्मल लीन एज ओ एस सो बेसिकली बोथ आर द सेम बट सम एडिशनल फीचर्स वेर एडेड इन द फोर क्लीन एज ओ एस एंड सम परफॉर्मेंस ट्विक्स वेर एडेड बाय द डेवलपर्स The previous Lineage OS 19 video was given in a right set card and it's were developed by the different developers and this is by the another developer but these are the same so you are watching for tech without wasting your time let's get started on the new adventure so i was on the latest oxygen os 18 version without the root so i downloaded the four cleanage os vanilla zip file There is also full JFS version available. If you use the vanilla version, we need the additional core JFS package to download and connect phone to the PC using the ADP commands. ADP reboot recovery phone will boot to the recovery mode. After booting to the recovery, first flash the Linux OS zip file. After flashing completes, your TWRP will cause the encryption issue, so you can't able to access the internal storage. So to flash the JFS, you need the pen drive. Transfer the JFS in the pen drive. Connect it to the phone using the OTG. Now tap mount and mount the OTG storage and tap select storage and check mark the USB storage. Now tap install and flash the JFS package. Now tap the format and type yes. Now tap reboot to the system. Phone will take one to two minutes to boot. After first boot completes. If it goes to the settings and about phone this is the four clean edge OS 19 dated 18 Feb 2022 security patch is of 5th Feb 2022 last normal clean edge OS was on the January 2022 security patch kernel is 4.14.186 so let's talk about the features in the four clean edge OS other than the original clean edge OS rom In the settings under the display we get the features like the ambient edge lightning even if we enable it and gets the notification i didn't see any ambient edge lightning so it's buggy not working at all disable ripple lock screen animation button is available but still the ripple effect didn't get disabled even after we enable the tab monet theming option added where we can set the custom color to the theme instead of wallpaper based monet theming white luminance and the chroma factor intensity tab has been added Linear brightness tab available it will help the max intensity for the screen brightness so the screen can be visible in a direct sunlight in the lock screen setting we get the music visualizer and the display media cover art setting always on display setting is also available and it's working good double tap to sleep on the lock screen available and it's working but double tap to wake not working at all Volume panel reorientation setting available there we can switch the volume panel to the left or the right in the system profile we can create the custom profile in which we can set the preferred activation time for the wifi bluetooth nfc for the each different profile so they can be controlled with the single tap so let's see what's working and the bugs technically all the things are working like the stable holt networks with the incoming and the outgoing calls Bluetooth connection with the high definition audio and the Wi-Fi networks with the NFC are working good. Adaptive brightness is working but still it's buggy like the other custom ROMs. So it's advisable to use the manual brightness control. Fingerprint sensor working and it's fast enough. Two camera apps are available like all the custom ROMs but the Google Go cam is advised to use. It has lots of features similar to the original Google cam like the portrait mode slow motion mode time lapse translate hdr modes and the night side etc someone in the last video asked me to check the touch sampling rate so here i set it up my screen refresh rate to the 90 hertz and user one app from the play store to check so it will show you the variable touch sampling rate whenever you slide the finger to the taste button so here i got the maximum 250 hertz you will surprise how it show this refresh rate Even though the default refresh rate is only 90 hertz but actual delivering refresh rate is variable it may increase at the higher or decrease at the very lower level than the default refresh rate so it's time for the performance test as the rom is very light no boatware and the performance tricks has been added in the rom who gets the amazing performance in the smoothness app opening and the ram management 
when I took the Geekbench test on the balance mode, I got the 707 for the single core and 491 for the multi core, which is pretty good than the original Lineage OS. When I switched to the performance mode, still I got the same but somewhat low result single core 764 and for multi core it was 2469. As compared to the original Lineage OS, ROM has the good score and the performance is also very good. Let's talk about the battery. Battery life is still not good for the Android 12 ROMs. We get the maximum 5 hours of SOD and the standby time are 20 to 22 hours, not able to complete the whole day. So still the improvement needed, but now onwards Devo has got the, their own Nord 2 device for the development. So we'll get the, all the new updates with the bug fixing and the features add-on. So wait for a week. So what is the final verdict? ROM is still pretty good in terms of the performance and the daily uses instead of less battery life. So definitely it's worthy to upgrade. So that's it for today guys. If you like power, please do like and share this video. Subscribe my channel. Press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye. Take care.